3,540 pounds. This is a little 185 hideout LHS here at Haylet RV of Coldwater, Michigan. LHS obviously standing for Little Harry Samuel, but that's neither here nor there. And I'm not sure if that's actually accurate anyway. Moving on, um, this is a basically new little family camper uh, for folks who have either modest needs or limited tow capacities. This is just a perfect first timers, little family camper. Maybe someone's looking to do some casual, occasional camping. Very familiar with this. We carry the hideout's little more popular sister, the Summerland by Keystone here at Haylet. So uh, they're way more similar than they're not. They're, they're sisters, they're not clones. There's slight differences, but basically I know the ins and outs of this thing. Um, very well constructed. They These these things are a brand. I, uh, even though we're not a dealer of them, they don't come back with problems. This is a well built little coach um the uh you've got a full size 13,500 btu air up there little single axle because again we are in a smaller capacity now that is that's like a heavier 4200 pound axle so that it can support the 3500 pounds of this thing plus your family and cargo weight um basically new in fact it's new enough it could still qualify for same as new rv financing so that ain't all bad there's a lot of qualifications that go into that but if you're curious give us a ring uh, effectively, they just needed something bigger, and they're swapping it out for that 26-foot used camper that we had over there. So they're just going from small to mid-size is all. Now, this is important to mention because it looks really like a power awning. Because the same company makes the same looking awning in a power awning. It is not a power awning. This is actually a manual crank-out awning, and it's this little part right here that gives it away. It is an extremely... Easy, fast, simple, one-person crankable awning, and it does still have the same easy tilt power arms of uh, a Lippert awning. Um, however, this is a manual awning. I do want to make sure that is known. Now, what's really cool, this little thing, they did a good job underneath the front sofa. They gave it a full pass-through storage, and that is a genius touch that is often missed on a floor plan like this. Normally, a camper like this just has nothing for outside storage. This one does not suffer from that deficiency. Smart little detail things, too. Like, you've got a little strut on the door so it doesn't fling open and bang against things. Now, it even smells clean in here. I mean, the sun's gleaming off this floor. The countertops are shiny and basically brand new. It is sharp. All the original owner's manuals and everything right here. There's nothing wrong with it. They just needed a bigger camper. My guess is they started small, and they either got a new vehicle or they went, this is honey, <laughs> this is too small. We need something a little bit bigger. Now... No slide outs. That means easy cleaning, carpetless layout. So uh, it is very simple to keep this clean. And, and whoever I'm going to maybe guess the misses of how she sure did a good job doing it. Now, a lot of times when I've seen floor plans like this, they'll have one closet here and the sofa is shoved to the side. And that's because in today's market, a uh, camper this size is usually a single axle um, like this one, but they're usually narrow body. This is not narrow body. This is a full eight foot wide standard body. That's what's giving us the extra hanging wardrobe closet space. That's what's giving us the ability to have a full size four person dinette instead of a, a little two person dinette. Um, so that can fold into a bed. That can fold into a bed. We got a master sleeper here with a little fo uh, fold down bonus bunk rated at 300 pounds right here. Um, you know, clean very clean well kept and pretty sharp looking modern decor that's what's nice about this you're basically getting a new camper to use price tag and that power outlet kind of struck me as odd at first and then i realized you got a nice open shelf right here phone chargers alarm clocks that's that's really well placed actually good countertop space for a little camper too i will this is very well planned and executed um it does have a little more minimal fridge there is a small freezer in that but it is still gas and electric again it's a good weekend run around camper maybe like a good uh boondocking camper folks who have a little more simpler needs and tastes nothing wrong with that i actually like too that it has a couple drawers under the sink a lot of small campers generally have no drawer space that's a deficiency i see all the time uh, the uh, dinette, in addition to folding down, does have storage below as well as above. Previous owners must have added a flat screen here because this sure didn't come with one brand new. And I know Keystone, and that is not a Keystone TV mount. But you know what? It's well installed, and it is a nice one. And I like the fact that they left it instead of leaving holes in someone's wall. So, classy move by the previous owners. I'll, I'll give them that for sure. So I already kind of mentioned the, the cool little flip down uh, Jack and Jill bunk back here. That could easily just be used as storage as well. Big window here for Breeze. <laughs> Fire escape window. Hopefully that never comes into play. Um, 
throws a lot of people off that you've got something of a split bathroom here the first time that they see if you, if you've never had a camper you're like why did they do that well if you got one of the kids in here using the potty, taking a bath, shower, whatever, the other one can be out here, wash their hands, uh, brush their teeth, get ready for bed, whatever. And a smart little detail thing, again, I see this in our summer lands here at Halid RV. This is a medicine cabinet, not just a mirror. It actually has a function, you know? It's little niceties like that. And again, a shower, not a tub. Really smart touches here. You got a skylight and a power vent, you know? Um, not my longest video, but not the biggest camper either. Simple, clean, effective. Also, nice camper too. <laughs> so take care, stay safe, have fun, and happy camping everyone.